Hey there, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to create this interesting uh, symbol using the isometric grids. But before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. So let's jump in. I'm going to delete this and we're going to recreate it again. First thing you should do is select the line tool. You can find it right here. Line segment tool. Make sure you're on the stroke and you don't have nothing on the field. If you have some color on the field, make sure you click none and click on the stroke so the stroke is up. Okay. Let's create our first line. Press and hold shift and just drag it down. And now press and hold alt and uh, drag it to the right and also press shift so you isolate it. And now you just press uh, Ctrl D until it creates a lot of copies. I'm gonna select them all, right click, group, and just place it right in the center. All right, double click on the rotate tool. It's right here. Usually it's on the reflect tool or some of, some something from here. So this is it, double click on it and type in 60 degrees click copy and do it again double click 60 degrees and copy again and now we have the isometric grids from here i'm gonna group them together and now we're gonna start drawing that interesting symbol i'm gonna press shift plus m or you can go and select the shape builder tool. From this, I can unite the forms and shapes. So the thickness is going to be one triangle, something like this. And I gotta do the same. Um, yeah, something like this. You're gonna, you're gonna be, I think it's gonna go here. Should be like three, one, two, three triangles. And here the same. One, two, three. And now it's gonna go down here. I think. I think I exaggerated with this one. Oh no, I don't think so. Actually, it's good. Okay, so. I think I did it. So it was pretty quick. I'm gonna right click, ungroup, ungroup good as you can see if I click on this I got the shape okay I gonna um, actually I'm gonna remove the rest of the isometric grids so I'm gonna log this first and I'm gonna delete the, la the rest of the shapes so I'm left with only this form Again, I'm gonna increase the size of this. As you can see, it's gonna create some weird imperfections. What I'm gonna do is select the pen tool and press minus, or you can go and select the delete anchor point tool. So I'm gonna go and delete some of the elements in here, the unnecessary anchor points. So we're gonna speed this up. Okay, so we just finished. I think I'm gonna increase the thickness a little more. Um, actually, I'm gonna decrease the size and create a new copy. 
with different thickness so it is going to be this one and i'm going to make one even more thicker but i don't know what to say yeah i think this one is good i'm going to create a new copy and from here i'm going to press ctrl c and ctrl f i'm going to press and hold shift and rotate this I'm gonna press and hold shift, I mean drag it and press and hold shift and try to bring it down to see where it's gonna go. As you can see, I don't know exactly where is the right place, you know, the center place. So I'm going to create a polygon or a hexagon. You can find it here. I'm gonna create it. I'm gonna press and hold shift, rotate it twice. And now I'm gonna cl click on the Unite from the Pathfinder. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select Pathfinder. I'm gonna decrease the size. And I'm going to insert these here. Of course, I'm going to also increase the size of uh, of this uh, hexagon or decrease it let me see i'm going to actually do it like this approximately like that okay it's pretty precise I'm gonna put this here inside interesting oh yeah because I scaled it up a little bit this one so I'm gonna create a copy from this Control C Control F rotate and now we should be good yep almost perfect I'm gonna delete that I'm gonna create a new copy and here I'm gonna press and hold shift plus M and we, get, we, we just selected the shape builder tool you can find it also here and uh, you just need to draw these together like so and voila we just made this interesting uh, geometric um, abstract symbol so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to check out the other video videos also and have a great day bye bye